tutorial brought to you by Blue Shoes Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an alert when you hover over a button or any um, tag field in HTML using JavaScript, obviously, to script it. So, first, um, before I get started, don't freak out if I'm, since I'm using like Dreamweaver CS4, you could just use like Notepad on this and it'll work. I'm just using this because I um, it gives me like suggestions on coding to use. But like I said, you could use Notepad to code this, and I'll just pretend like I am. Um, so make a new HTML document. Before we get started with like the body tag and everything down here, you're gonna go into the head tag. So make about three line breaks. There we go. Um, and start out by opening your script tag. This is crucial. If you don't open the script tag, then um, there won't be any scripting. Enable. So, make sure when you select script type, that's telling the browser what type of script, like JavaScript or whatever, to execute on the browser. So, use text slash JavaScript. Uh, go down, and close the script so we don't forget. Because if you do, it'll keep all like this and this open into the script, and it'll think like that's part of it, and that'll mess up, and it won't work. And that would not be good. Nothing would show up. So, there we go. And we're gonna make a new function. Call this function tell them. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Function. Hmm. Okay. Apparently, there's not an error now. Whatever. Alert, just, I'm just going to ignore that. Alert, um, alert will be you, oh, I got something funny, made you click, you know, made you hover, because make it hover, so made you hover, ha, 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 and ha, there we go, oh yeah, so that's going to make them PO, because they clicked, they fell for your silly trick. Okay, so there it's going now. Good. Um, so you can delete this extra line break, I guess, and this one too. I don't know why there's always a space right here. Delete that. Um, just leave us some extra space so we don't get confused or anything in here. So now let's make two things that uh, when you hover over will make the box pop up. So first you'll do H1. Let's do on mouse over equals then the two little things um, the function name right here which is tell them with two little bracket things so tell them and close that hover over me I dare you slash h1 there we go close that now let's also make something else. Let's make a couple of VRs. I think that's enough. Okay. Go down, make an input type equals button value equals uh click me. Uh, close that. Now, uh, do on mouse over. Actually, this one let's just—it'll be the same if we do on mouse over as the H1. So let's do on click. Equals. Tell them. Make sure you define which. Cause see, when you do this, like these and this, all it's doing is. It's looking in the header section for the script, which is right here, and that's now when uh, what's gonna happen is the tag down here is gonna call for that function to be like activated or used, whatever you wanna call. Um, and what's gonna happen is JavaScript or the browser is gonna look at the script type and be like, oh okay, so they want me to activate this as a JavaScript element, pretty much. 
and it knows to activate that way. I guess you could say it's more complicated than that, but that's like the easiest way to explain it. Uh, close this now, and if we go into design, it's not gonna happen right now. But if you're using Notepad, you're not even gonna go in design. You just wanna save it as a HTML file. Then, go, if we go into live view, this is where it'll happen. Um, you see, if it's anywhere like if it's anywhere along that line, it'll do it. Um, but what we do is for that we hover over it and hover over me. I dare you, made you hover, ha 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 and ha. And this actually, let's fix this, fix this, because that's a click. So let's go back. Okay, thank you for picking up. Go back. Let's make a second function really quick. Function. Click them. Alert. Ah, uh, you clicked me. Why do you listen to every? This is really random. Everything you hear. Okay, there we go. Now we'll close that. Semicolon. That's what I forgot to do up here, so I'm like one. And um, now down here, input type or on, on the on click. Let's make it click M. Now let's go to design live view. Or that still works. This is ha ha or ha. You click me. Why do you listen to everything here? So there you go. That's about it. So that's about it for this tutorial, like I just said. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, ask below. Message me. You can hit me up on Skype at Tyler on Xbox. T-Y-L-E-R on Xbox. No spaces. God, no spaces, sorry. Um, that's about it. I hope this tutorial helps. Uh, hope you had as much fun as I did making it. And please subscribe, comment, rate. And thanks for watching.